How many of you are wearing clothes right now? Right, we're all wearing clothes. And today I'm wearing my all-time favorite outfit. I love this so much. I love the style of it, I love the fit of it, and most importantly, I love how it makes me feel. But what does it have in common with a garbage bag? They're both made from plastic. And yes, I bought this vintage polyester piece, which means it's used and I've worn it, oh, maybe a hundred times. But at the end of the day, it's still made from plastic, and like a plastic bag, it's bad for the environment. I'm here today because I want you to change the way you think about your clothes. Because what you buy, how often you buy it, and what you do with your clothes at the end of their life has a massive impact on the health of our planet. I love clothes. In fact, 20 years ago, I considered myself to be a fashion addict. I couldn't walk past a store without going in and buying something. And my closet, what a mess. It was literally bursting at the seams. I had stuff shoved in everywhere, hangers all over the place. I had so much stuff that I could never find what I was looking for. And the more I had, the better I felt. See, I worked in fashion PR and I was often given free samples. Sometimes I was even paid in clothing by designers. And every time payday rolled around, I would go and spend half my check on new outfits. It made me feel so good. It made me feel important and it gave me confidence. So why was it that I always felt like I had nothing to wear? Then in 2006, I found myself to be a mother of two. I'd just given birth to my second daughter and I stole a few minutes of my, <laughs> for myself to watch the documentary, An Inconvenient Truth. What a game changer that was. I realized the thing I loved so much, the thing that I was so addicted to and that was actually paying the bills, was a huge contributor to the climate problem. I knew then that I had to change the way I thought about clothes. And I did something pretty drastic. I quit my job in fashion PR and I started a nonprofit called Fashion Takes Action so that I could make a difference in the fashion industry. But I realized pretty early on the industry isn't entirely to blame. We also play a big role, and it's bigger than you might realize. See, there's this thing called fast fashion, and if you've never heard of it before, think of it like fast food. It's cheap, it's made with poor ingredients, and it generally isn't very healthy for us. And if you've bought clothes in the last 20 years, chances are you've bought at least one item from a fast fashion brand. Fast fashion relies on synthetic petroleum-based fabrics like polyester, spandex, nylon, acrylic. It's in practically everything from your favorite yoga pants to winter coats. And research shows that 60% of our wardrobe today is made up of these plastic-based materials. So what's wrong with wearing plastic? Well to make these plastic-based materials requires an estimated 342 million barrels of oil a year. That's like driving your car around the world one and a half million times. And every time we wash our clothes, millions of invisible microfibers are shed into the waterways, which are then eaten by the fish. And then we eat the fish. So I want you to think about what you buy. Do your research, read labels, look for things like organic or recycled content instead of polyester or acrylic, and invest in better quality pieces that will last. And your wallet will even thank you for that. How often do you think you buy clothes? Is it once a season, once a month, or once a week? Statistics show that in the last 20 years, the price of clothing has dropped by 30%. And in that same amount of time, we've doubled the amount of clothes we buy in one year. Doubled. And because of our need for more, 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 the industry makes more than double every year. So what's the problem if the industry is making more clothes? 
because it creates 1.2 billion tons of carbon dioxide every year, making the fashion industry responsible for 4% of all global man-made emissions, and that's only set to grow. And now that so many of us are buying online, there's this new phenomenon of free returns. Brands make it super easy for us to buy three of something in three different sizes and three different colors, and we keep the one we want and we send back the ones we don't. Sound familiar? I'll let you in on a little secret. Many of these returned items, especially the cheap ones, end up in the landfill because it's simply too expensive for the companies to restock those items. So they take the more convenient route of dumping them in the garbage. This really happens and we need to slow it down. If you normally buy clothes once a week, try skipping a week. And if you find yourself shopping online for clothes, stop and ask yourself, do I really need this? And if the answer is yes, then do your best to buy it in the right size, style, and color. Finally, I want you to think about what you do with your clothes when you're done with them. Do you throw them in the garbage? For every five garments produced today, three will end up in the landfill within a year. And that's because this cheap, fast fashion that most of us are buying isn't built to last. We wash it too often so it falls apart or it fades. It's super trendy or we get bored of it. And you might donate your clothes, but if they're not in perfect condition, if they have stains or buttons missing, you likely don't. And that's how our clothes end up in the landfill. In North America, the average person puts 81 pounds of textiles in landfill every year. And in Canada, that adds up to 1 million tons. And we know what happens to our plastic clothes in the landfill. They stay there forever. So why is it we care more about plastic straws and plastic bags in the landfill than we do our plastic clothes? Now you might be thinking, well, I only throw my cotton clothes in the garbage, my cotton t-shirts, cotton underwear, cotton pajamas, cotton's a plant, so what harm could that be? But the reality is, is when cotton and other natural materials end up in the landfill, as they decompose, they emit CO2 and methane into the atmosphere. And in Canada, those emissions are equivalent to what's used to power 20,000 homes for a full year. So what's the solution? It's really quite simple. We need to take better care of our clothes. We need to wash them less so they don't fade and fall apart. We need to get to stains right away, hang our clothes to dry, and learn how to sew on a button. You can even donate your clothes, even the ones with stains and missing buttons, because the system is set up to properly sort for reuse and recycling. You can also turn your old clothes into cleaning rags for around the house, or sell them in online marketplaces. And my all-time favorite way to keep our clothes in use for as long as possible is to swap them with friends. One person's trash is another person's treasure. When I first came out here, I jokingly asked how many of you were wearing clothes, knowing full well that we all do. It's a basic necessity, and it's what unites us in this important discussion. So today, I ask you to choose to do one thing differently when it comes to what you buy, how often you buy, and how you choose to get rid of your clothes. Because collectively, we can change fashion's impact on the climate. Thank you.